the kids are just so immersed. And some days when I walk in and I ask them what they're doing, it seems to me like they're speaking a completely different language. We have to include HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And supposed to incorporate them in a website? The majority of the students are at the point where they can create a web page themselves from scratch without my help. The background picture and the GIFs are um, CSS. And you know, the curriculum that she's using for them really is used by adults. Somewhere along the way, I made a decision that I wasn't going to baby them. I have not watered down the material for them. And it's really something that the kids are taking to another level. Sometimes it can be frustrating, like trying to figure out how to code a certain thing to work, but it is fun overall. Yeah, it doesn't work. But we'll try to fix that. That's part of being a developer. Yeah, you find bugs and fix them. We, we stressed out a lot about this because it's, it's repeating. They take to coding much faster, much quicker, and much easier than we do, as adults do. It's not that complicated. It's pretty basic, but it still it takes a little bit of time to understand it. Yes, if we had a wrong period, then everything would go wrong. So when I first started class, I was like, ugh computers but then now I'm like I really want to start my own website because it's cool. I let them know that this class is not just a class for them to get a grade in school this is a skill this is a skill that can make them money. Any profession that's in the medical field is going to require an understanding of coding and programming to some extent. I want to be a computer scientist when I grow up. It's fun it just really is fun. So it allows you to create epic things and blow minds.